Have you ever struggled to create beautiful colors in your photography or wondered how to use color to enhance the emotional or visual impact of your work? Many photographers overlook the transformative power of color, making easily correctable mistakes that limit their full potential. In this video, I'm going to reveal the six biggest and most common color mistakes that photographers make, as well as simple solutions so that you can avoid things like distracting or unrealistic colors, flat or washed out images, and photos that lack any kind of emotion or feeling. And stay tuned for my bonus tip towards the end where I'll show you how to use color to make your subject pop and stand out like this. Let's get into it. Color plays a crucial role in photography, acting as a silent storyteller that sets the mood and enhances the visual impact of an image. Colors have the power to transform ordinary images into exceptional and memorable visuals that resonate emotionally. This is why colors are such an important part of photography and why they should be at the forefront of your photo creation process. Which leads us nicely into the first mistake that photographers make in regards to color, and that is neglecting the intention use of color by failing to plan the color palette ahead of the photo shoot. Without the deliberate use of color, your visuals might inadvertently become overly distracting, unattractive, or lack emotional punch. In my experience, planning your colors in advance by considering things like your subject's clothing and how it pairs with the photo shoot environment or location is one of the biggest keys to creating stunning portrait visuals without the need for over-the-top creative concepts or extravagant wardrobe props, or studio setups. To achieve this, the first step is to figure out which color harmony you'd like to use and then factor that into the planning of your photo shoot location as well as the colors in your model's clothes. Color harmony not only sets the stage for a visually captivating photo shoot, but also adds an extra layer of emotion or feeling into your images, making them 10 times more impactful. So what is color harmony exactly? Well, that brings us to common mistake number two, which is for photographers to neglect the fundamentals of the color wheel and the power of color harmony. Color harmony simply refers to the pleasing arrangement of different colors in your photography. The color wheel is like a map, showing you which colors go well together or harmonize together, helping to make your photos look better or evoke certain feelings or emotions. By using different color combinations, you can create a wide range of unique moods and visual effects in your photography. Now, at first glance, color theory and color harmony might seem like a vast and complex topic due to the myriad of possibilities and intricate relationships between different colors. This sometimes discourages photographers from experimenting with color theory altogether, and as a result, their work may never reach its full potential. But it doesn't have to be this way. It can actually be much easier than this. If you want to unlock 80% of what color harmony has to offer, you only need to focus on 20% of the color combinations. And really, there are only two groups of color harmonies that you need to know. The group that I like to call the harmonious analogs, as well as harmonious complements, which are just fancy words for describing colors that are either close to each other on the color wheel, or colors that are opposites. Harmonious analogs create a cohesive and soothing look, perfect for conveying a specific mood or atmosphere. For example, greens and blue tones evoke a tranquil and serene atmosphere, whereas rich oranges and deep reds create a warm, cozy, and inviting ambience. Harmonious complements, on the other hand, offer a striking contrast and dynamic visual impact, enabling you to create bold, energetic, and vibrant portraits that pop. No matter which type of color harmony you choose, the key is to use a consolidated palette of around two to four colors max in order to minimize distractions and maintain a harmonious and visually cohesive flow across a series of images. Now, understanding how to integrate color harmony into your photography is essential for creating visually compelling compositions. And this brings us to common mistake number three, where photographers, especially beginners, tend to overcomplicate the use of color harmony in their work, leading them to abandon the idea altogether. This often stems from the misconception that in order to achieve beautiful color harmony in your photography, one requires overly intricate creative concepts, elaborate props, extensive wardrobes, or complex studio setups. This is simply not true. True. Creating stunning, impactful, and harmonious colors in your work doesn't need to be complicated. 
needed. It can be as simple as matching your model's clothing with the colors in the photo shoot location and considering the time of day or season of the year. For example, asking your model to wear green clothes against a warmer colored red flower backdrop during golden hour in the summer can create a vibrant and dynamic complementary color palette that pops. On the other hand, asking your model to wear blue clothes against a cooler toned urban backdrop during fall or winter can help to create a more soothing analogous palette. A simple trick that I like to use to ensure that your model always has clothing suitable for creating color harmony is to ask them to bring two types of tops to the photo shoot. One in warmer colors like red, yellow, brown, beige, or orange, and one in cooler colors such as green or blue depending on the location. These two tops offer the broadest range of possibilities for creating harmonious color palettes in any type of location, especially environments with dynamic lighting conditions or varying backdrops. You can also ask your model to bring a neutral toned white or black top, as these colors can be easily adjusted to achieve your desired color harmony in post-processing. And speaking of color adjustment, this brings us to color mistake number four failing to adjust for white balance or color temperature. A crucial yet commonly overlooked step for photographers is to adjust their in-camera white balance to harmonize with the intended color scheme. Fine-tuning the white balance can have a profound impact on the outcome of your photos, either enhancing or diminishing the way colors are portrayed in your images. Using the wrong white balance settings can ruin all the hard work you put into carefully harmonizing the colors of each crucial element in your photo shoot. This may lead to disjointed, unnatural colors that clash. A trick I like to use to ensure my colors look good and align with my intended color harmony in any type of location, environment, or lighting condition is to use the following two customized white balance settings in camera. One to enhance the warmer colors, creating a warm filter over my images. And the second to enhance cooler colors, creating a cool filter over my images. These two white balance presets can be used to enhance both analogous palettes as well as complementary color palettes, combining both warm and cooler toned colors. And this brings us to color mistake number five, which is when the color adjustments you make during post-processing aren't in sync with your chosen color palette or the environmental conditions of your photo shoot. This can lead to jarring and unnatural colors that diminish the intended visual impact and cohesiveness of your final image. The key objective during the editing process is to enhance colors and align them seamlessly with your chosen color palette, as well as the atmosphere of your photo shoot. Consistency is crucial. If the scene contains warmer or golden hues, enhancing those tones will maintain and elevate the overall color harmony. Similarly, for cooler scenes like overcast days, highlighting the cooler colors through tools like the blue tone curve ensures that you create a cohesive and harmonious ambience. To take it up a notch, try combining techniques to both enhance the cooler tones in the background and the warmer tones in your model's skin. This creates a contrasting complementary color palette, giving the model a 3D pop whilst emphasizing their presence. Mistake number six, failing to maintain a consistent color grade across multiple images. Consistency in color is not only vital for individual images, but becomes even more important when considering a series of photos from the same shoot. To achieve a seamless and coherent visual story, I recommend doing the bulk of your editing using tools like Lightroom. Lightroom's powerful batch editing capability enables you to effortlessly copy and paste your carefully crafted color grading settings across multiple images in seconds. This efficient workflow ensures that the colors remain consistent throughout the entire series, creating a unified and professional look across your body of work. Once you've perfected the color grade in Lightroom, you can go ahead and proceed to open up the image in Photoshop for any necessary skin retouching, final adjustments, cropping, and exporting. The key word to remember here is consistency. Consistently aligning the colors in each element of your photo shoot, from the initial planning stages to the very moment you capture the shot, and through to the final stages of editing. This ensures not only that you achieve visual harmony, but also a seamless storytelling flow in your images. If you'd like to take a deeper dive into the concept of color and explore the rest of the eight key ingredients for stunning portraits, then be sure to check out my free photography webinar training linked in the description below, and I can't wait to see you in next week's video.